you know, the beauty of having Miles on board is it's, it's the middle of winter, it's February, and the sail fishing is very good. Yep. Jim, lead him, beautiful. A little bit to the right. Yep, Jim. he's swimming right. Oh, he's coming to you. He's coming to it, yep. You know, they're making calls left, 12 o'clock, you know, 9 o'clock, so you gotta be on, you gotta be ready to put that bait on and, and cast in. All right, see that leader right there, that knot? That's an official catch right there. That's the first catch of the day. It's in the rod. Tail walking, baby. Yeah! Simrads Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Scott Walker and Captain Steve Roger. How's it going, Miles? Miles, Steve Roger, nice to meet nice you, Nice to meet you, Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Scotty, you probably got the boat ready. We're talking about catching some sailfish. Um, it's been a little bit windy, but, you know, hopefully it all works out. And, uh, Yes, sir. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. I'm excited, man. Me too. Me too. Good morning. Good morning. How's it going? Good. Great to meet you. You as well. And you, you too, sir. I brought you a buddy. <laughs> Looks like a helper. Yep. Anchor puller. Fish winder. Oh, yeah. I get to relax today. Yeah. <laughs> do, do I need to do anything or you already did everything like you Everything's ready to go. Check. The list is checked and checked again. All love. we need to do is go catch some ballyhoos. Can we do that? That's why I love going fishing with you, man. All right. Well, Let's show Miles what we can do. All right, let's do it. <laughs> it's not every day you get to take a professional athlete, Miles Straw, professional baseball player for the Cleveland Guardians. What a great guy. I mean, he came in with eyes wide open, and, and uh, we kind of showed him a couple things he's never going to see again, or not too fishes with us anyway. <laughs> yeah, all the recon from last evening, the sails are up to the east a little bit. Well, listen, you had south wind, mm -hmm. so whatever blue water was two, way out should have pushed in. I'm hoping so. Have Miles, to... you ever caught a sailfish? Have not, sir. Oh, cool, man. Oh, outstanding. Yep. Hopefully we can get one today. Time to hold on to your hats, boys. You know, the beauty of having Miles on board is it's, it's the middle of winter, it's February, and the sail fishing is very good. My game plan was to catch Miles his first sailfish. And of course, you know, that means first and foremost, catch and bait. Steve could catch 50 right now with the cast net. Uh-huh. But if we take an extra 15 keep minutes and catch them with the sabikis. Keep them alive, like you said, they'll, right? they'll last all day long. So when the, the fish start really moving, our netted baits get tired and they don't they don't jump away from the sailfish and uh -huh. you don't get the great bites we're after. So taking a little extra time right now, just building the cake. My name is Miles Straw. Um, I currently live in Bradenton, Florida. I play for the Cleveland Guardians and um, you know I took this trip down to join these guys and uh, I have been to the Florida Keys before. My father got married down here, and my buddy as well got married down here, and this would actually be my first time fishing here, so um, it was a blast. I enjoyed every minute of it, getting to know the guys and you know the whole crew, so it's been a, it's been a great trip overall. Just let it sink, let it hit the bottom. Oh, you're, there they go, they're in. Let it hit the bottom still? Ah, uh, no, we got more we can handle. Ha! That's how you do it. Trust the process, baby. Trust the process. I did. You got a mixed bag of everything in here, buddy. Game plan was, and always is, first, to, to chase the sailfish that are on the reef chasing ballyhoos. You know, looking for sprays, looking for birds, using the radar, using our binoculars, and finding the frigate birds. And that's where we want to start fishing. Right underneath the bird. Right underneath the bird. Throw it towards the bow, towards the bow, towards the bow, throw it towards, that's good throw. He's going by the motors. He's going to six o'clock, he already ate. But he's six o'clock going to the left. Where at? Right here. Money. He ate already though. 
the beauty of the elephant is it's so maneuverable. We can get up quick, get to a, a set of birds, a, a shower of ballyhoos, uh, you know, in a matter of seconds versus just the big diesel boats getting it going, lumbering in, slowing down, overrun them. And then Steve can easily hook up a bait and three steps be on the bow looking straight down at the sailfish versus trying to cast up the side of a big boat. I mean, the outboards have changed the way we um, chase sailfish in the Florida Keys. See him? Lead him. Beautiful. A little bit to the right. Yeah, he's swimming right. Oh, he's coming to you. He's coming to you. Reel it. it in. Lead him again. Lead him again. Lead him again. He's following other Make people. another shot, Miles. Where is he? Right here. To the left. Follow it. Go right to there. There you go. Pop it, pop it. He's following freebies. And reel it across to him. There you go. Make him jump. Tip up. Reel it, reel it, reel it, reel it. Make it look alive. Look at that school of bait he's got. Yeah, that's the problem. Big old ball of bait. All right. Yeah, so I feel like I put a really good cast on that fish, um, led him pretty well, and uh, you know the bait wasn't doing too well, so I had to make him look like he was doing better than he was. Um, you know, gave it a quick little reel in, thought I had it right on his head, and just didn't eat. Coming up, tail walking, baby. Yeah. Simrad's Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Simrad, 75 years of innovation in marine electronics. BioEsk Solutions, clean, disinfect, protect. Waypoint TV, the destination for outdoor entertainment. Yamaha, reliability starts here. And by Ameritrail Trailers. Bubba, Golden Boat Lifts. Iowa, Rodan Marine Systems, and by Yeti. You know, my, my mom or, you know, my dad probably got me started before I even knew what was going on in my life. So probably in T-ball, you know, I started, started young, probably three, four. You know, I think I played baseball ever since. So probably every season my parents got me in, enrolled in baseball and it's just been an ongoing thing. And, you know, until this day, I'm blessed enough to uh, call it a job. I started off at Brayden River High School. I got cut my freshman year in high school. Um, I went to St. John's River State College, played baseball there for two years, got drafted my second year, and uh, was a 12th round draft pick. Uh, was committed to South Alabama, and sure enough, I got drafted that year in 2015 by the Houston Astros. And uh, I made my major league debut in 2018 and got traded this past year uh, to the Cleveland Guardians. And, here we are today. There it is, two fish, two fish. All right, he's right at the bow, off the bow. He's right, two fish right at the bow. Okay, he's coming right to me, right, come right to me. He's swimming right under the boat. He spit you out, he's holding it again. He's holding it again, he's holding it again. Am I supposed to let Miles catch this? Uh, next Here, one. take this rod, right. Miles. No, you got it, you got he's it, ready. you got he's it. He's ready, he's ready, close the bail. Great eye. Miles is going to leader him. Close Miles up. never caught a sailfish, and I, I got to <laughs> catch it. It's good, it's good. He's yours. <laughs> How you like them eyeballs, Scott? Wow. I was like, where's the shark for sure? In the port side locker where Steve is right now. Uh-huh. There's a pair of red bubble gloves. Put those on for me. Nice work. I mean, I can't believe you saw that in this weather. <laughs> in this. <laughs> I look over, I see a tail sticking out of water that high. I'm like. <laughs> All right, let's get that leader. Get Miles, let's go get another one. You're not actually gonna wrap the leader on your, around, you're gonna use your fingers so you don't pop him off. Okay. He takes off, let go. And when, he, when he's ready, you'll be able to grab him by the bill. Coming up. Tail walking, baby. Yeah. Way to bow to him, Stevie. Coming in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Little fella, he's hot for teacher. <laughs> Thought the guest was supposed to catch the fish, man. <laughs> hey, you're the one that's baited him up. I know. Remember, <laughs> hey, Miles. But I like him, he's strong. Sometimes I, they don't I, eat the second throw. Hey, I said, here, take the rod, Miles. He's like, no, 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 that's yours. He's gonna <laughs> catch I like home. it. Well, you said there was two fish. Got me excited. <laughs> All right, see that leader right there, that knot? That's an official catch right there. That's the first catch of the day. It's in the rod. You can make it official. Just put your finger on that leader. 
There you go, caught fish. I got the fish. Pretty tired. You can reach over and grab his bill if you want. Grab it hard, close to the mouth. Stick your hand right in his mouth. Go down this way. Just grab the bill? Yeah, put your hand right in his mouth. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's so cool. We're gonna go back because you gotta have arm. You know what I mean? You ain't gonna have no arm reach. Right. You can go back some more, go back some more, go back some more. All right, go ahead, grab him in the mouth. Grab the bill. Just go, 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 go. It, it feels like sandpaper. It's got a good grip on it. <laughs> Try to get in the mouth. Yep. Always harder when it's rough, Miles. Yeah. Hold on, come back. One more around. time around. There we we injure our ball player, you're gonna lose his contract. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Grab, grab it. it. Slide down it if you can. Yep. There you go. Get, get real close to his Hold eyes. Hold Don't lift him out. Just hold him steady. Steve's going to come and cut him free. You're good. Just stay right there and relax. Awesome job, bro. Great start, boys. That's why we Got do it. Good? Yeah. Right, it That's nice. Got him. Now hold on to him. I'm gonna put one engine in. I'm gonna put one engine in gear so he'll swim with us and then let him go when he's kicking. You can revive him, like put his head down, you know. Right, keep on, keep on, there keep he on. goes. That's how you do it, there, boys. Thank you, man. Yeah. You were supposed to catch. I'll do all that for you yeah. next time. Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. I'll do all that for you next time. <laughs> all right. Awesome. Thanks, guys. All, all right. right. Fresh bait makes all the difference in the world, boys. What'd you think? That was sick. Every time that, that cool. ballyhoo jumped, uh -huh. he got more excited. Yeah. Okay. Like what you've seen so far? Well, you can see every episode of every season of Into the Blue for free. Go to waypointtv.com, click Ways to Watch to learn how to download the app or watch on your smart TV. You know, obviously, uh, with that bait showering, it's really good in the morning and really good in the afternoon. We had that midday lull, and the way that you are always ready to kite fish and got all the equipment dialed in, the best of the best stuff going down, we went ahead and shot out there and threw the kites up for a little bit. All right, we kite. It was also pretty cool to see how the kite method works, um, you know, dropping the two baits in or whatever. So that was the first time I've actually ever seen that. So, you know, it's just a bunch of things, little things like that you learn. Um, for me, I, I go inshore all the time. Those offshore tactics, I mean, there's so many different ways to approach fish, and um, it's a pretty cool experience to see how they how they attack those fish. One sardine gone. <laughs> oh, there it is. We use these for uh, catching swordfish. Uh -huh. the, the, the belly, belly meat. Mm -hmm. And the red meat we chop up for yellowtail snappers. Nice. Yeah, man. Let me put him on ice for another day. Yep for Miles, he, he got to see things that we rarely show a client. Uh, you know, we, our time was short, his was too, and we had to go, and it, we left and it was howling. But we promised them by the end of the day that front was gonna go through. So he got to see the entire gauntlet of weather in the Florida Keys. Miles, how'd you get into fishing? Through my grandfather, he was a uh, big fisherman back in California moved to Florida, he's always been into it. He got me into it as a kid. And um, other than that, I mean, nowadays I just go with my buddies back home and, you know, do a lot of inshore fishing. So we have a good time. I mean, day on the water is best day spent, so. You got a little boat up there. You trailer it around or? Yeah, I have a canal, no, no boat lift right now, but um, you know, I tie it up to my dock. I heard you said you do like snook. Do you ever go at night or whatever? I see that some guys do some of that stuff. Yeah, we'll go at night sometimes. Um, Try to do it as much as we can. I mean, I like I like fishing the daytime better, but nighttime can be pretty good. Get on some big dock lights and stuff like that. So you don't get a whole lot of free time, probably. I'm sure with the not a whole lot of free time. Baseball schedule. Baseball's busy, but uh, it's definitely a good time to get out there whenever I can, for sure. Yeah, there's AJ's here, Steve. What do you think? I think we need to put Miles on one. See that one up there on top? Mm-hmm. Hey, you're getting a bite on the middle. Get him bite in the middle. He's on there. Yep. Hooked up. There 
There you go. You still on there? Hold it. Yep. That fish? Yeah. Old trolling bite, huh, Scott? Come on, mutton snapper. Come on. I already know what it is. What is it? It's a saltwater fish. <laughs> Prove me I'm wrong. <laughs> um, you're right. What do you think he's got, Scotty? Saltwater fish. Oh, <laughs> Guaranteed. that's definitely what it is. What's your real guess, Scotty? I would say it's either going to be Jack from Val be funny or over there. an Amber Jack. Hooked up. I used his own joke. Got the pro on the bow, not hooked up. This is the bait I said that would work. <laughs> the no look. Yeah, you picked the right bait. What do we know? What we got here? I think it's a donkey. A little marathon amberjack. There you go. They get big, man. These things mm -hmm. get up to like 100 pounds. These little amberjack. All right, buddy. I think we just plunge him head first and see if he takes off, like kind of not, yeah. yeah, not slow, like fast, yeah. Just like that. Awesome, brother. Gone. Simrad's Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. Scales, every degree of water. Hawks K Resort, find what lures you. West Marine. And by Battleborn Batteries. Costa Pro Series. Nikon. Killer Dog and by Spear1KeyWest.com. Into the Blue is on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Give us a follow or subscribe and check out behind the scenes footage and wonderful photography posted daily. The lighthouse you know, is the most beautiful water I think I've ever seen in my life. So just to just to see the water at that area, and you know, we probably saw 30, 40 barracudas sitting down there, and um, just it was like a, looking in an aquarium. So it was just really cool to see that, and, and you know, to catch a couple there was even better. Ooh, hooked up. There you go. Fish on, Scott. Okay, I was looking forward. I missed the bite. Barracuda. Awesome, man. Oh, that four footer that's out there. All right. Got him a Bonita, Amberjack, and a Barracuda. I stole his dang sail. How many values we got left? I want to go down the road of about three miles. Get a real one that time? Looks like it. I saw a big fat tail. Got a dozen. Okay. Man, it is pretty in here, dude. It is. Crystal clear. Mm-hmm. Seen it all today. Miles. What's the that? The wind, the rain, the fog. Oh yeah. Big waves, clear water, dirty water. Big waves to no waves. Welcome to the fabulous Florida Keys, baby. Yeah, I like him nice and tired. I'm gonna reach down there and grab him. <laughs> I don't want any extra energy in him. There we go. There we go. That was a little nicer. Yep. Yeah. See, it's so freaking hard oh, in the yeah. mouth, man. There's really nothing to get a hold of. All right, let's go find one more sail, boys. Awesome job, buddy. There we go. Thank All you, right. Mr. Cuda. Where are we off to? Try another spot, or what are we doing? There's another Barracuda spot about four miles down, but I want to go look for a sail. All right, let's do it. If we end up there, we got any baits left, we'll hit them. All right. 
The water was getting so clear, it was getting so calm, the birds were getting very active, the bait was spraying everywhere, and I mean, we, we were working hard to get him that fish. Where's he at? He's still pushing, still pushing, still pushing. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh my goodness, that's so cool. They got so tightly packed. Throw in the front of that patch, there you go. Good, good, good. Just throw as far as you can. There was no more birds on the reef, right? And their sprays were still there, and we didn't have that bird to help us kind of point out the sailfish, so we were not seeing the sailfish. And, and you know, you had a mark on the radar, and you go, oh, look, there they are. And, and all those frigate birds were inshore of us, just maybe half a mile. They were pulled up on the birds, and it wasn't sails. Mm -mm. It was a pod of porpoise mm -hmm. working a school of algae. Yeah. And it was the most incredible. We just turned the motors off. Kyle, why can't it be sailfish? Have you ever seen him eat that many valleys all day long? No, I tell you, I've never seen him messing with valleys. I see corrals down there busting them up and mackerel, but never seen them. That pelican said, give me some of that. Oh! <laughs> they got to be slapping that with their tail. Like pulling like a 360 underwater, you know? Because that thing got up in the air like that. It takes a little force. That's how you finish the day. That wasn't our plan, but every now and then you just get a sign. And that was our sign. We've had a great day, and we just sat there and drifted and watched them feed on Battle Houston. They almost ate them all. Oh. <laughs> you know they ate that one when it landed. You know, watching how aggressive those fish are, it was really cool to see them attack the baits and watching the ballyhoo try to escape the fish as well. So that was probably one of my coolest experiences out here. You know, not only was it a blast down here, but I learned a lot myself. So um, when you put those two things together, I mean, you can't really beat that. You know, learning, I can take stuff I learned down um, up to where I live and, you know, use those kind of techniques up there. And, um, you know, down here, just the experience was unreal. You know, just to be able to come down here and do with them was more than amazing. So. Um, I'm blessed I got the opportunity and you know these guys made me want to come down here again so I'm sure I'll be down here.